welcome back to episode three of the Ash Love Show. Most hated, most controversial. This week, we've got some interesting topics to discuss. So, I'm just gonna get straight in with what ZZ Mills had to say about young girls demanding expensive dates and monies for their nails and stuff. Personally, I believe, yeah, that to expect that treatment at such a young age, I do agree, I think it's crazy. I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't expect things from people. I feel like that's how you end up disappointed. I feel like in life, you need to have yourself and anything that anybody does for you is a bonus. You can't be out here with a sense of entitlement, entitled to the idealism of this lifestyle that's far-fetched and not even real. Anyway, I just think, yeah, that with young girls, instead of young girls following social medias, influencers that have got their bodies done, going doing this jet lifestyle, whatever, expensive dates or whatever, focus on your education, focus on your bag. Everything else is secondary. The bag comes first, everything else will fall into place. Keep your money right and your pussy tight. You feel me? Okay, next topic. Gassed up lighties getting backlash for embracing being light skinned you be a lighty and gassed off your colour because if you're any other colour you can be gassed off it, do you get what I'm saying? So oh, when we say light it's like yeah. we are light skinned, do you get what I'm saying? Why can't we be proud of that? That's us when we're gassed up because we're happy, we're lit, that's yeah. just it. Like it's not to try and make us better in the in the industry or further. And it's not even it's like we're out here saying we're the pengest lighties like, of like, them all, we're, we're not even like, like that. Like, like, Twitter because I don't understand why like, people hate Twitter. us, we're just normal mm. girls. Like, like, why can't you be a light? I personally, I wouldn't class them as a lighty. I understand that they're light in complexion. However, they're mixed race. My definition of a lighty would be somewhat of a throwback. Somebody that's got two black parents, but they come out with a light complexion. If they want to embrace being mixed race, want to embrace being light skin, that's their business. I can understand why people might be a bit pissed off. Like in an era where we're still fighting, you know, colorism, racism, inequality, it's a bit ignorant. However, in this situation, I just think that Ignorance needs education. Next topic. Kim Kardashian regrets her sex tape. With for the rest of my life. That is something that's like being held over my head. I try not to have any regrets, but it's probably the one thing that I wish didn't exist. And if I could erase any of the stupid things that I've done in life, that's probably it. And it's more so from being a mom. What was it that Ray J said? I hit it first. <laughs> No, I'm joking, <laughs> I hate her. But um, I just think here yeah, that obviously it's what has made her family, isn't it? It's made them all into moguls, it's kept them all relevant, it's like even, it's kept them all successful. And I just feel like, I understand you regretting it, like, because like, that's it, innit? Like, your kids are forever gonna be able to access you having sex on Pornhub, it's peak. But in this situation, I just think here yeah, that the only fans girls need to take note and stop fucking for the bag. <laughs> so, Megan Thee Stallion upset with the baby doing the tune with Tory Lanez. <clears throat> to be honest, I think that what Megan went through was very unfortunate. However, we the public, who are not even in their tax bracket, don't actually know what happened. They are all from different places, like, the baby's from like Louisiana, Meg's from like Houston, Tory Lanez is like from Canada. They're not even all friends like that. No one has a loyalty to anybody. I think that what the baby's basically said is like, look, this is my bag. I'm being paid to do this and no one ain't getting in the way of my bag. You feel me? So I just feel like we need to protect black women, justice for Meg. But in this situation, like, no one really owes anybody anything. Like, the bag comes first, as I've been saying. <laughs> I'm gonna get dragged for this because apparently I'm a pick me. <laughs> but I just think it's real shit. It's like, it's like somebody from out of the ends being caught up in ends beef. It, it don't make sense. I'm not gonna lie. What I did like though, yeah, was I liked the way how her man like come on Twitter for her. I rated that still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. You stand up for your girl. That's it. No man should be arguing with women on the internet. You guys in the comments, you said take note. Anyway, IVD, being overly sexualised. <clears throat> what was it that she said that she feels like if she didn't overly sexualise herself, she wouldn't be a sucks? Because of what happened to me in the past, yeah. and everyone was, everyone already, they already sexualised me yes. because of what they heard about yes. me. I think in the past I wasn't like that. I mm. wasn't. I think that affected me so much to be like, all right then, well, let me just be that girl then. 
I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm, uh, I don't want to say I'm not like that because I'm comfortable to yes. be naked. Like I could be naked like, yeah. in front of, I don't care. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like it wasn't me before. Mm. But, and then I realised, oh, but when you're like that, it works for the music. Mm. Yeah. Now, personally, I didn't really know about IVD before the beef with Renee and her and Abigail got run down or whatever. Like, personally, like, respectfully, I wouldn't class her as a successful artist. Maybe she's a successful social media influencer. I don't know, because personally, I just, I, I don't know none of her music, never heard it on the radio. And I just think that what she's saying about overly sexualizing herself to be successful, I just think it's bullshit. I think that there are a lot of women who are successful artists and they haven't overly sex sexualized themselves. I'm just gonna give one example and I'm gonna say Lady Leisha because didn't she buy her mama house? That's successful shit in my eyes. Anyway, I think the reason why she's overly sexualized herself is because she wants to follow the American girls. Whereas I believe that it's their culture. Like in America, you've got girls that come from generations of strippers, illiterate, can't read, can't write. All they can do is count one dollar bills. That's why they sexualize them. That's their way of living. Yeah, you want to follow them girls and then you want to cry about it. As women, we all know that when we want to look sexy, we do that because we want to do that, innit? So if you want to do that, just say that you want to do that. If you want to be a successful artist that doesn't sexualize yourself, you should have tried gospel. I'm sure your dad would have rated that a lot more as well. Front row and center in the choir in your dad's church. <laughs> It's real shit. Like, just do it because you want to do it. Just say that, innit? Just say that. Anyway, so see everybody going wild over the fact that H is posted up with the BBWs. What I don't understand, again, I'm gonna keep on saying this, is the mental health. Why are people so triggered by other people's preferences? Some people like interracial, some people like bad boys, and some people like BBWs. People need to just understand what they like, what they want from life, and they just need to go and grab a hold of it by two hands, and maybe they won't have enough time and energy to be negative about what other people want. What I will say though is, yeah, was to see that it was very refreshing, very refreshing, it made a big difference difference to all these, you know, bug-shaped women that people be glorifying on the media. I liked it. I'm not even gonna lie, I liked it. Big up UH, yeah? Big up the BBWs, because by the way, that is a real thing. Niggas really like BBWs, yeah? I won't let a nigga turn me into a BBW, but trust me, they're out here feeding up bitches. <laughs> Anyway, I was gonna do like, um, <laughs> down in the comments, but you ain't cussing me enough no more. <laughs> so, um, I guess it's down in the DMs. <laughs> because I be getting some real strange DMs and personally, I don't have enough time to go through my DMs. So I'm just gonna share with you a few DMs that my assistants picked out. <laughs> no, I can't even. I can't even read these. But here's a nice one. You're a legend and your laugh is the best. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look, look, here's one. Damn, man made you think winning. I know he told you not to address you, just couldn't help it. You see you people, it's the mental health for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, here's one. Am my wife or coughed? Yes, I am. And I'm very faithful. And he's the only one that, you know, so. Okay, this is a good one. This is really sad. Listen, in me, you have a hater, proper. When you speak, it just pisses me off. You have this way of seeing life to be so, like, immature. So this hair is for you to copy, laminate, or file for your own storage purposes. Imagine being that sad in life here that you're a self-proclaimed hater. People like you just make me know that I'm on the right path to success. <laughs> And I think that's it, because these people, they're just not cussing me enough no more. I think you don't all like me now, it's a shame. What was it that JT said? Still that same bitch, I ain't fucking with it. Just... <laughs> anyway, so I guess it's a wrap. <laughs> Remember, happy hoes ain't hating. Enjoy the weather.